just about everything possible to tell people about the new rates and make it easy. But we're worried about the folks who think the five cent stamps bought before January 7th are still good. Well, if you're one of those, yes, they are good. If you add a penny stamp to meet the new six cent rate. The post office department has released designs of the new stamps being issued to coincide with new postal rates which go into effect January 7th. Six cent stamps are now being printed for use on first class letters. The new six cent embossed envelope features the Statue of Liberty. And Abe Lincoln graces the new five cent postal card. A modern plane dominates the ten cent airmail envelope. January 7th is an important date in history and postage stamps tell the story. January 7th, 1789 was the nation's first presidential election. January 7th, 1830 marked the beginning of the railroad. And on January 7th, 1953, President Truman announced the existence of the hydrogen bomb. January 7th, 1968 is the date of the new postage rates when first class moves to six cents an ounce, airmail 10 cents an ounce, and the new postal cards will be a nickel. Of course, you can use combinations of the old stamps to get the right rates. Here is a message from the United States Post Office. Help! The post office is flooded with mail. The mail load keeps getting bigger. It now pours in at the rate of over 200 million new letters and packages a day. Just sorting this avalanche of mail takes longer and longer and can slow up mail delivery, your mail. That's why zip code was created. When you add zip code to the address, postal workers can sort the mail far more quickly and efficiently. And the post office can use its new electronic machines that read zip numbers and sort mail with space aid speed. So add zip code to every mailing address. If you don't know the right zip, call your post office or look it up in their zip directory. Include your own zip code in your return address. That makes it easy for others to zip mail to you. Remember, mail moves the country, and zip code moves the mail. remains critical according to the latest medical report. There is severe pre-existing liver disease manifested by enzyme changes in the blood, which is no doubt responsible for his bleeding condition. He has a form of hepatorenal failure. Meanwhile, his cardiac output is only slightly below normal, and the heart appears to be functioning well. These many complications are severe but soluble, according to Dr. Shumway, as long as heart function is good. The transfusion of fresh blood appears to have stopped bleeding from the gastrointestinal tract. You think someday an operation like this might be, might be routine? Well, uh, it could be routine. We could be set up for it at any time because it's, it's no different from what we set up for every day. Open heart surgery. Did you have any difficulties in following the doctor? No, I think the girls said that everything went beautifully and smoothly. They could hardly believe that it was a different procedure. We're deeply indebted to Congressman Fred Swangle, to the National Capital Historical Society, and to the American Trucking Association for making this occasion possible. There was a publicity only a few days ago about the suit that President Lincoln was wearing uh, at the time of his death. And uh, this through uh, the act of a person and uh, that person's relatives to whom it was given has been preserved over the years. 
quite remarkable that this was so. Uh, I'm sure we would all agree, Fred, that it belongs here. And I think, Mr. Secretary, you ought to pick those trousers up and give some idea of the length of Lincoln's lace. Hold them up to yourself. Or just hold them up to yourself here. And then the frock, <laughs> you see right next to it. We want to uh, say how uh, happy we are uh, today, and uh, uh, I told uh, Ethel that uh, I think uh, uh, Joan and I are going to take uh, this uh, baby home. We think uh, Ethel has enough of them, uh, so anyway. <laughs> we have uh, Luella Hennessy uh, here, who's uh, been at the uh, birth of all the uh, uh, Kennedy grandchildren, but one, uh, and... Uh, uh, we asked her upstairs uh, how uh, this one shaped up. She says this is the best one of the lot. And, uh, of course, she told me that about a year and a half ago when I've had Patrick uh, Kennedy. So uh, each one uh, seems to get better, but I think, uh, I think this one is. Sure. Baby, uh, baby does have a uh, name. Uh, 